Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today, as some of you guys may have saw on my IGTV little teaser video, today we're going to be taking a look at Mario Teaches Typing. We're going to be doing the full video on this piece of software that I recently picked up at a garage sale along with that Apple TV and a couple of other items. And I was originally going to install this on the $5 Windows 98 PC. As you can see, I've got it all set up over here. But I decided instead to uh, run this software in a virtual machine specifically because um, I don't have a set of speakers for the Windows 98 PC. And from what I read in the uh, little pamphlet here, there is a soundtrack that I kind of want to you know, be able to capture as well. And I also don't have the proper display driver. So I just decided that while I wanted to do it on like period specific hardware to kind of um, you know capture what it would be like using it, back in 1995 when this came out i just decided to go ahead and use a vm so that we can capture the full experience of this program pretty much including the sound and a higher uh, quality of color so uh but before we switch over to that i just wanted to kind of show you guys what comes in the actual cd jewel case here this is a piece of software that was uh, published by interplay productions and i do not believe that nintendo was involved in the development of this software, I think that they just um, were able to license or allow uh, Interplay Productions to use the Mario characters. And as far as I can tell from the uh, instruction booklet, uh, Mario is not the only character that is going to appear, at least as far as, uh, yeah, so you see, we got some little screenshots here, we got uh, Luigi there, and we have Peach over here uh, with some thromps. So it's gonna kind of be interesting to see how this works because I've actually, believe it or not, I've never played this game before or this, um, as I said in that IGTV video, a, I don't know if you would call this a game, it's more of like a software uh, tool, like an edutainment title where its main purpose is to teach you how to type, but it's going to do that in a fun and kind of uh, entertaining way to uh, keep you wanting to actually play the game. So right inside of the CD jewel case right here, I'll go ahead and open this up for you guys. Uh, we've got a list of credits over here, and this is where that I read that it had sound is because it says CD music right here. Uh, it's copyright 1995, as you can see right there, and here is the full CD right here, Mario Teacher's Typing. It's a very um, nicely designed uh, DVD and jewel case as well. You can see we've got like a very close-up shot of a keyboard in, in the background there, and they've uh, overlaid the um, you know title of the game and uh, put the copyright info down there at the bottom. On the back, we have uh, some more information about it. It kind of talks about Interplay, the company, um, what, you know, and, and it gives you like a little bit of a teaser up here. It says, you're about to embark on a new and exciting journey, one that will fill you with a sense of wonder and discovery. Light and sound will mix like a kaleidoscope to thrill you as never before. At Interplay, we believe that creating a new experience such as this requires more than just using the latest advances. Technology simply provides us with new tools to invent a product that is bigger, better, and more exciting than anything we've done before. And the CD-ROM provides us with a larger canvas on which to create our vision. So they kind of talk about the CD-ROM, you know, because this was around a time when CDs were kind of a new thing. So that is pretty much it. Uh, that is enough rambling for now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch over to my computer's desktop, and we're going to actually jump right in and experience Mario teaches typing all right welcome back so we are here in a Windows 95 virtual machine there's a fresh install of Windows 95 I got the uh, proper display driver and the sound driver working so we're gonna go ahead and put in the Mario teaches typing CD into my computer's drive and once we do that uh, we should go into my computer here and we're gonna go into Mario CD and we are going to run the installation program so this is an MS-DOS program, so we don't even really need Windows. We're going to install it to, to uh, see Mario, that's fine. I'm gonna hit on continue. And now it's going to ask us a few questions about how your system is configured. We're gonna go ahead and press enter. Select your music board. Um, we do have a Sound Blaster uh, 16 driver installed, so we're gonna go ahead and choose that. And we're just gonna choose Sound Blaster. Yeah, I guess the port will be 220, that's the factory setting, IRQ7. Set up successful, press any key to continue, and uh, okay, I guess that's it. Alright, so here we are loading Mario Teachers Typing. You can see we have a um, rendition of uh, one of the Mario songs, I believe from Super Mario World. I, I want to say Super Mario World, I'm not 100% sure though. Um, we got a uh, pretty nice looking screen here. 
Welcome to Mario Teaches Typing! And, yeah, we... <laughs> so, that is one of the features of this game, is there's a lot of, like, voices and stuff. Uh, definitely not Charles Martinet, who voices Mario in the official, like, Nintendo console games. Uh, I, I, I don't know who voiced him in this game, but I'm sure we can look in the credits, like, to figure out, but that was definitely not, uh, Charles Martinet, for sure. So this is, um, the menu here. We've got, like, a file, student, and lessons menu up here, um, which is kind of done in, like, Welcome the... to Mario Teaches Typing! Okay, I, I guess whenever you, like, uh, click on this... Welcome to <laughs> yeah, Mario Teaches Whenever that typing. you click on, uh, Welcome to Mario Teaches Typing, he says, Welcome to Mario Teaches Typing. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is, like, this menu up here is kind of like a file menu, like, in something like Microsoft Word or, like, any program, even, like, the Apple Macintosh software, you know, it's got these menus up here, so we've got files, student, and lessons, and then we've got one through five here, which I assume are different courses, but it says down here, if you would like to create a new student, press W, so we'll go ahead and do that, we'll put in, uh, MJD, and we'll hit D for done, or no, we have to... I guess press enter. Okay. Uh, so we can choose, I guess, between different uh, difficulties here. We've got goal words per minute five level. Okay, so this is like the beginner mode. Luigi. Oh, so you can. Okay. I was thinking that each character was going to be like a different uh, difficulty, but it's just the same thing. So I don't think. Oh, goal words per minute. Okay, so let's say I want to type uh, 20. 20, not 150, I want to type 20, <laughs> 20 words per minute, okay. I guess it's still going to keep you on the beginner course, like let's say we go to 100, yeah, it's just going to keep us on, on, on the beginner. So, I know how to type pretty efficiently, so I don't know how hard that this game is going to be. We're just going to choose Luigi, because why not? And, uh, so, yeah, the student menu here is where we can, like, load different students, okay, so we'll go ahead and load me. Uh, here's the about screen. Let's see if it has the voices. Yeah, Mario's voice, Ronald B. Rubin. So whoever this guy is, he voiced uh, Mario. But here's like all of the credits for the game. These are all the people that actually worked on it. Uh, I wonder, does, does it actually say who made the, uh, yeah, music arranged by, okay. So in association with the fat man. <laughs> Uh, I guess, yeah, this is, these are the people who actually made the music. I don't believe they worked for Nintendo. They probably just, like, took the song and tried to, like, you know, recreate it. So we'll just go with a super basic lesson here. Let's just do on this course mark, one. Set, go. So your keys are on home row, and you're basically, like, just going around typing, you know, okay. A, A, S, D, F. So your goal, it seems, like, a little bit slow. Honestly, like, see, if I press, like, F here... Like, okay, well, that, that's not what I want to do. Oh, okay, so it, it'll actually stop if you don't keep it up. Okay, that's that's interesting. But, like, see, I can just go, like, super fast here, you know, and, and he's, like... I, I can actually just mash on the keys, and it literally just... Oh, well, like, it, it keeps showing, like, a bunch of errors, but, but, but see how, like... Like, he's hitting blocks that, that aren't even near him. But let's, let's see if it'll do one again. You see there's, like, a million errors there. <laughs> um, but like, see, watch this, I'm gonna do FDSA, like, see how he, how he hits that, like, way before that the block actually shows up on screen? So, th this probably wasn't designed to be, like, super fast, this level, I assume, is for, like, I mean, it is the first level, so... I'm guessing that it's for the absolute beginner who's never typed anything before, so they would probably go, like, you know, D, F, A, S, D, like, you know, super slow. Um, let's go ahead and see, can we, how do we get out of this? Okay. So, we'll go ahead and go back to the menu here. Oh, we got certificates. Okay, so you actually, oh, you can actually print out certificates. That's interesting. So here, here's like a map of the keyboard. When you do that, F2, it shows like a map of the keyboard and, and what fingers that you're supposed to use. So, obviously, you keep your hands on home row. Um, and it just kind of tells you what, uh, what fingers you're supposed to use for, for each key, which is, which is very nice. Uh, lesson times. Okay, lessons. Let's do all of the keyboard. Okay, so that, so that'll make it a, a little bit harder. 
So you can actually choose from up here, okay, I, I want home row only, add the top row, add the bottom row, or we can just do all, all like the entire keyboard, which is going to make it a lot harder. So let's go ahead and go back into uh, number one here. On your mark, get set, go! Go! Okay, oh, see, exclamation point, what the, oh, okay. A, I guess when it meant all the keyboard, it li literally meant everything, including, like, you know, using the shift key. Why is there so many exclamation points? One exclamation point Z A. This is like just one side of the keyboard. This is literally okay, at sign. Oh okay. This is literally all on the left side of, of the keyboard. Like I don't understand what and they're just the same the same thing. Like I guess maybe it's starting out at this and it's gonna get harder. Okay, here's a no, that's just moving over to three. So yeah, definitely a little bit more challenging for somebody who, I mean, I'm like going pretty slow here, but like, see, again, like I just hit E there. You see how he jumped up before he actually got to the block? So yeah, I mean, you, you kind of get the point. We'll go ahead and go back to the menu here. There's your report card. Okay. Problem keys. Because so it, it kind of shows you what, what keys that you're having trouble with. This here is... Oh, okay, this is like you have to type out so mix 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 vex 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 can 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 men 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 con So you're so you're basically What on earth is that? What was that? So you're basically going through typing out like a bunch of words over and over again cub 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 So this is like a, a good way to get proficient at you know typing uh, you know, short words and maybe short phrases rather than just individual keys. So it's actually putting like all those motions together. <laughs> so I should also mention that this is the way the game sounds uh, <clears throat> when you don't have like a sound card and it plays all of the audio through a PC speaker. So you can see it uh, sounds noticeably worse. Then, uh, <laughs> gosh, this sounds bad. It sounds noticeably worse than the other one. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so this is not the most ideal way of playing this game, but I assume this is how people that didn't have, a, like, a, you know, like a sound blaster card installed in their machine, this is the way that it would sound. Uh, I was debating on not even showing this because it's like, I didn't want to use this without like the proper sound driver but just to kind of give you a look at how it sounds and you can see that him hitting the blocks yeah it it, it it just sounds overall much better when you're using a proper sound driver but that's honestly to be expected i mean listen to the sound when i'm just like mashing on the keyboard So, I mean, I think that they did the best with what they had, because obviously playing this, like, song through the PC speaker is not going to be, uh, very easy, because it's just, you know, very simple tones that, that you can play through the PC speaker. Uh, it doesn't sound great, but it at least gives you something. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you can turn this off, and you probably would want to do that, but if you liked this, dude, and, and you didn't have, like, a Sound Blaster card, uh... Yeah, you might want to go ahead and try this out. I don't know what else to say, but yeah, this is a thing. Alright, so we're back once again. Now, the previous version of the game that I was showing you is actually the original uh, floppy disk DOS version that came out in 1992. And the version that I had, as you saw at the very beginning of the video, is the CD version. Now, the CD version came out a couple years later in about 1995. So it was a couple of years after the original Mario Teachers Typing came out. But this one, I have to say, is probably the best version of the game. And that's because of some modifications that they made to the menu. And we're going to be taking a look at that uh, once I started this game. So I've got a DOS box open up here. Let's go ahead and run this game from the CD. So it starts up just like the other versions. And you know, it comes up with like the Mario thing, and you'll notice the the only difference on this screen is it says copyright 1992 to four. So this is the, you know your only signal that this is a newer version of the game until you actually click on or, or press enter and get to the menu screen. We're presented with this. Bing. 
Thank you for choosing Mario Teaches a Type. Yep, they. Nintendo and Interplay. So they went all out with this like 3D. Oh boy, that makes me so happy. <laughs> I'm lightheaded. Me. Yeah, they went all out with this uh, 3D. Oh my hey, gosh, it's. Why like... are you doing upside down anyway? What's so he just he just continues on like this until you actually start a lesson. Hmm. So oh, there's no please. music going on. Sorry. You might have heard that the music tried to start in the background. And then he'll just come back up again. Okay, maybe he's gone now. Good. But I'm still not sure. I'm going to actually... Let's go and find out. I'm not sure. Okay, now oh, he's back again. It's the file menu. Hmm. So he just... Okay. Yeah, that's... that's. <laughs> so there's, there's a couple of new things, as you can see. We've got this M-I-R-T and this wrap. We'll take a look at the wrap in a minute. But I want to go to the About screen and see uh, who voiced Mario. Sound and voice. Okay, yeah, there's no Charles Martinet. So that dude is, is not, you know, whoever voiced Mario is not uh, the same guy who voices him in, like, every other Mario game besides this one. And what's very interesting is Super Mario 64, which is, I believe, the first Mario game that had, like, that 3D face. I think the, the first and only Mario game that had that 3D face on the menu screen actually came out about a year. Funny okay, he's going to come up on the screen hmm. again actually came out about a year after Mario Teacher's typing, this version here. So, this is the very first Mario game that has a 3D, like, talking Mario head on the menu screen. Mario 64 wasn't the first game, it's a very interesting fact. Oh, these are the student menu! So, every single menu that you mouse over, he just, like, comes up and says, Oh, this is the student menu! Now, let's see if he does the same thing for lessons. That's the lessons menu! Wow, really? I didn't know that. It just says lessons on it. I mean, what, what's what, what's the point of that? He just comes up and says, Oh, this is the file menu. He doesn't tell you what it does. He just says that's the file menu. You, you can clearly see that. Oh, nice computer you got here. <laughs> can I have it? Okay. So there's like, there's like a couple of different um, things that, that he does. It's actually pretty cool that this preceded Super Mario 64. There's definitely some, like, odd things that he says, like, with the file menu and stuff, but it is pretty cool, um, because it's, it, it's definitely something, um, I mean, some people might not, might make the argument that it's, that it, it's not better, but it's more visually interactive than just, like, a still, uh, image of Mario who says, Welcome to Mario Teachers Typing, when you click on the box that says, Welcome to Mario Teachers Typing, so... I can't get this MIRT thing to work because for some reason DOSBox is saying that I need to remove write protection. This is running off of a CD, so I can't do that. So I don't I don't know what's going on there. And then the wrap just straight up doesn't work. Let's go ahead and turn the music back on. Actually, let me go ahead and, and I'm going to actually go on my host computer here and browse the CD. And we're going to, uh, let's go ahead and just open this up. I'm pretty sure this is the rap. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, this song is made by a group called Legacy X. And the name of the song is Practice Makes Perfect, so I'm not hearing any specific references to Mario or the game, but I don't know if this was included, like, or if this was published anywhere else besides in this game. But, yeah, here it is. Uh, this song is, I think it's on YouTube in a couple of places. It's, it's on YouTube again here with this video. Hopefully it's, like, not copyrighted so I don't get, like, content ID'd for this video. Um, but, yeah, that that's the first track on the CD is the rap. So, for whatever reason, uh, the game didn't want to play it. I don't know if there's supposed to be something going on, on like, on the screen. You know, maybe lyrics or something like that while the song's playing. But we'll, we'll go ahead and turn um, the sound back on. So, let's go ahead and go to, uh, course three here. I think this is the hardest level- how, how do we start? Okay, there we go. 
Oh, so now we start actually typing this phrase up here at the top, so... Okay, so basically after like every sentence that you complete, you advance one space. So, so yeah, that's, that's basically how it works. So, now we move on. So it's a very, uh, if you're not a fast typer, it's a, it's gonna be much, uh, more of a slower game than somebody who's, you know, more efficient with, with typing. So now I guess you're dying? I mean, I, but you're not, okay. Echo through, dang it, the school halls as the bell. So you basically just go in that pit of, like, lava, I guess is what that is, and you just, like, sit there until you complete typing, so there's no, like, incentive to, like, hey, you're gonna die, so you need to speed up what you're doing, which is kind of interesting. So this is the hardest, I, I th I'm pretty sure this is the hardest level in the game, because you're, you're actually having to type full sentences with, like, proper punctuation and capitalization and everything. So, I guess this just goes on, because now we're back in this lava pit again. So we'll go ahead and just end. And here it tells you what your accuracy is and everything. Oh, that sounds weird. Why does the music sound weird? It's, it's got like some weird tone going on there. But, so yeah, number four is, uh, yeah, yeah, this thing again. So you're, it's not actually like a course, but now you have Mario's like... See, before, it wasn't the animated 3D head. In that other version, it was just like a still image of him again that would slightly change. Now it's actually... I don't think it's it's on... Season... She... Uh, this is the same thing as... This is literally the same... I'm trying to like... This... Yeah, this is literally the same exact list of phrases that I was typing in that previous uh, difficulty. So this is like there's no course or a level where you're like moving throughout the you know course to advance it's just literally like a piece of paper and you're just trying to type what it says and mario up there i assume will give you feedback uh and stage five i believe is just results stage five isn't even a stage it's just your uh, report card that's basically all it is it tells me my problem keys are c i and l so there you go but honestly there you have it uh that is a look at mario teaches typing this video has gone on pretty long. I, I hope that I was able to capture everything by going through these two different versions and kind of showing you the... Have you seen the princess? And he's going to come back and princess. interrupt my outro. Okay, thanks, Mario. Hmm. I'm a cane fine hole. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I hope that I was able to capture everything by showing that older version before this newer one here. Uh, and, you know, letting you see the major changes which there's not really any change in the gameplay between the two versions it's just that this version has the extras like the rap and th and the you know 3d talking head and, and everything but um i hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me go just go ahead and quit out of this so that he doesn't like interrupt me again okay never mind see you next time <laughs> so i hope okay. that you guys enjoyed bye this bye. video okay thanks mario okay i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did oh my gosh I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. And also be sure to drop me a comment letting me know your thoughts on this game. Have you ever used this before? Uh, which of these versions do you like better? I'd be very interesting, interested in hearing your guys' thoughts on that. And uh, yeah, stay tuned to the channel because I've got a couple of more vintage like 90s uh, you know, related software and possibly hardware that I'm going to be doing some videos on. So stay tuned for that. But that's going to wrap it up for now. As always, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.